Hi, I'm Ben, and this is my review on DC League of Super Pets. <laughs> oh, this was a really cute movie. It's very different from something like Paw Patrol. They even do a joke like Paw Patrol, like, what is this, Paw Patrol? But there's only two dogs in this movie. I never saw Paw Patrol because I thought that movie would be like for a more aimed for little, little little kids and when I was babysitting a kid when I was babysitting a kid I, I watched a little bit of Paw Patrol because I was babysitting but yeah I didn't I skipped out on Paw, seeing Paw Patrol in the movie in theaters because I thought yeah that looked more aimed for more little kids but hey I saw um, this I saw DC League of Super Pets there is it. It is a kids movie, but there is. It's kind of like Shrek, where it has a bit of adult humor in it. But yeah, and like there's even the scene where the turtle swears, but they bleep it out, and it's like hard or bleeding, and it was really funny. Uh, this is a cute movie. Uh, I, when I first heard about this and saw the first few trailers, I was a bit because apparent. It's not like the original. Pets like they do get their like the squirrel does become like a green lantern ship, but it's not like the traditional uh, DC League of Super Pets from like comics or anything. It's like a its own DC League of Super Pets. But at first, when I first heard Kevin Hart was gonna play Crypto, I thought they should get more of a serious actor. Like I thought Kevin Conroy was gonna do Ace the Bat Hound. Um, Kevin Con but. No, I, this was I like this this version of of Ace the Bat Hound. He was he was cute. He doesn't become Bat Hound until the end of the movie, but so it's the whole remainder. He actually is pretty funny and actually is a pretty cute dog. Like and Crypto the Super Dog is pretty cute. Like he he gets he at first he gets jealous about Lois becoming about be coming together with Clark because he's like I want to be with him and but do, do, he does learn how to love crypto um, crypto learns how to love like Lois and Superman like happy like let them be happy together but yeah but yeah um and he does learn how to make new friends and that's cute the the villain in this movie um Lulu, <laughs> oh, if you watch Animaniacs and if you know the Pinky and the Brain, that's basically who the villain is. It's a bald guinea pig that was experimented on by Lex Luthor, and then they discovered there's something called Orange Kryptonite. And instead of like Orange Kryptonite, because Lex wanted it because he thought it would give him powers, but it gives animals powers, and it was and it gives like the super pets powers, like. Ace has super strength, and Squirrel has lightning, and Pig can turn big, and the turtle is fast. And I like the turtle, how it's like an old lady, but she's really fast, and she's kind of senile, which is pretty funny. And I like that. I, and there are some Marvel jokes in here, like Green Lantern is like, I had a f friend who was a raccoon, which is a Guardians Galaxy reference. And the part where he's ironing, you, Superman using his heat vision to iron his shirt, he's like, they should call me Iron Man. <laughs> no. I kind of wish they did an Iron Man joke when Lex Luthor was suiting up. Like, when he gets in his armor Lex suit, I kind of wish they did, like, an Iron Man joke there. Like, oh, nice suit. Like, you ever heard of Tony Stark? I think there's another billion there who wears a metal suit. Like, I kind of wish they did, like, an Iron Man joke there. But I like how what they did. Like, but I like I also this is the first movie with Lex Luthor that actually give us the mech suit. Think about it. There's never been a Lex Luthor like yes, there's those direct to video DC movies, but I made a movie in theaters, a theatrical movie, where we actually get to see the Lex suit. Think about it. Like in all the other Superman movies, he never get does the Lex suit. But this is the first time we're actually seeing the Lex suit in a movie. 
Also, it's pretty funny to see that an animated movie of DC Super Pets knows how to get Lex Luthor right than Jesse Eisenberg. Sorry, no hate to Jesse Eisenberg. He's probably a great actor, a great guy. It's just what they did for him to play Lex Luthor was... It's not his fault, it's just what they did to the Lex Luthor character. But anyways, I... But anyways, I like... Lulu was pretty funny, and as this guinea pig bald hamster, like, they try to make her like Lex Luthor, but also a bit of General Zod. She even says, kneel before Lulu, and hearing her say kneel before Lulu was really funny. Also, Ace the Bat Helm, when they show his backstory, I thought that was kind of sad, but sweet, like, and I like the message, like, you has to, if, even if you has to sacrifice something as long as you protect them even if it might hurt like that's kinda sad but it's also a sweet message also there is an after end credit scene and a also I want to talk about the cat like remember in the trailer that cat was laser they open it as like a cute child kitten making cute voices but it's like really threatening and kinda like attacking people like I'm I'm a kitty and I'm gonna attack you and it's just this happy cute kitten being both scary and shooting weapons at it and I'm like this is cute and funny and <laughs> and well yeah that was funny but yes like and like every superhero movie ever made in the 2010s and the 2020s now there's always gonna be a mid credit scene and an after end credit scene ever since Marvel Studios done it every other superhero movie is doing it but these ones were pretty funny. Like, there's a scene where Lex Luthor is trapped, and the little kitten's like, Nope, I'm not helping you. And it's like, Oh man. But then Lulu gets adopted by Mercy Grace, or Tess Merker, or Mercy Grace, I think, in this movie. And she's like, And I thought that was cute. And there's an after end credit scene with a dog version of Black Adam, like a Black Adam dog, and then it's Black Adam ta talking to Superman, and it's like, who are you? I'm an anti-hero, and I was like, what? It sounds more like a villain. I was like, well, you can make up your own rules, but you can do this. I was like, yeah, that sounds like a villain. No, anti-hero, completely different. Look, I bet you can't race to Pluto, and it's like, yeah. And that was pretty funny, because Dwayne The Rock Johnson, like, he plays, he does the voice of Crypto in this, but he also is gonna play Black Adam in the new Black Adam, in the Black Adam movie. I'm excited to see that movie, like, it's Black Adam, but the Legion of, but also the Justice Society is gonna be in it. I'm glad the Justice Society is gonna be in it, because nobody outside comic books knows who they are. I'm gl I am glad these under these characters not a lot of people know are getting movies. Like, that's pretty cool. Okay, so that's my review for DC League of Super Pets. It was a cute movie. I highly recommend it. I hope, I hope you see it. Well, that's it for my review, and I hope you see some new videos, and have a nice day.